So here's kind of like the secret uh, bone formula from last week. Like if we just kind of like said these words, you'd be able to and line it up. Pyramid of the foot, you know what I'm saying? Okay, pyramid of the foot. If you weren't here last week, we don't have time to go over it. You have to watch the 52 minute YouTube version. It's broken up into sections like seven minutes, so it's not as intense. I mean, you could, you could do that. Okay, so the pyramid, and then we have, all right, so I'm not gonna leave you out. So we have a point here, we have a point there, and then we have a point there, and we're gonna distribute our weight equally and effectively. We talked about last time how this beautiful leg bone docks right on this bone called the talus. So I would just say pyramid, I would say talus, and you would align your leg bone right over the talus. We would talk about kind of like the hip configuration. We would talk about setting the curve, the lumbar, the sacrum, the lumbar curve, connecting to that point right in front of your sacrum where your center of gravity is located. We would talk about lifting the manubrium. We would then talk about right below the belly button. Then we talk about the floating ribs, zzz, zzz, connecting, the manubrium lifting. The collarbones would be another keyword, collarbones lengthening, broadening, shoulder heads opening, carrying two pizza pies in your hand. We set the curve, we dock the skull on the atlas, and then we plug into the cella turcica, the T6, T7, anterior aspect of your sacrum, pyramid of your feet. Boom, optimal alignment, power posture, alignment secrets, done. Okay, so that being said, I just wanna give you like a little overview we didn't cover the, uh, the elbow joint, so that a lot of us are on computers. The elbow joint's kind of like the knee, it's a hinge joint, but it has a special feature where it does a, whoa, this guy's, this guy's about to submit. So it does a elbow flexion, and then it does a pronation. So this joint right here, it's a specialized joint, so it allows for that glide. So we want to address that. We want to get the fingers going too. So I wanna bring the whole body to life. Let's stand up. Okay, cool. So, um, your options are feet together. Your options are feet apart. Let's get into the feet. So lift up all of your toes. All toes lift. Keep the big toes lifting and place all of the other toes down, the other eight toes down. Okay, so now you've created like this massive energetic line in your inner arch and now you have an arch in your foot which is good, a lot of people have collapsed arches. So we've just kind of like activated the arch in the foot. I want you to place your big toes down and lift up the other eight toes. Some of you might get, be experiencing some cramps in the feet. Okay, lift up all the toes. Shift the weight to the kind of like the balls of the big toe and uh, baby toe. You might notice your heel's about to come up and then kind of like put some of the weight back into the heel and then you'll just kind of like play front, back. Okay, cool. Keep the arch lifted and drop the toes down so it's like no one knows you're energetically lifting up the arch, arches in your feet. Then pay attention to your leg bone and here's a good way to do it. Lock your knees, not optimal, unlock your knees. Okay, set the curve in your low back, like I'd like to put my hand back here and I'll put myself into a little bit of extension. To prevent overarching, right below the belly button, I'm gonna like press on that spot like it's a ripe tomato and bring it in. Trying to keep my low back, there's a tendency once you do that, it's gonna flatten your low back out. I'm not wild about that movement of tucking your tailbone down. I'm kind of like a, against the tailbone tucking movement. There's going to be protective times when you're going to need to slightly 
tuck the tail. It's also known as lengthen the tail or release your tailbone towards your heels. Same difference, but one, it's just in terms of intensity. So we have the curve in the low back, right below the belly button, about an inch, engaging in. Your manubrium lifting up, making sure again you're not over jutting. You're gonna kind of contract your upper abdominal. So upper abdominals below the belly button, that anchors the backside. So you're not compressing the joints in the back. You're holding two pizza pies in your hand. And that opens up the heart. Funky chicken forward. Up to the sky. Now you have the cervical curve, the cervical lordosis lacking in so many people, it's epidemic. And then position your skull straight ahead.